this tutorial is about uh, making designs on myouts.com. The premise for this design that I'm doing is uh, a soccer ball. I start out by using a light background. It's all outside is all colored in, and doing a small outline of the geometry of the soccer ball using a pentagon and uh, hexagons around it and it getting distorted as it goes to the outside. When you do an outline you want the intensity at 500 percent and the opacity at 2 percent. This is so that the lines are very light and uh, just barely you know visible when you have a high intensity and when you bring the intensity back down to 100 percent where you'll probably have it around there at the end of the design you can't really see your outline at all. I went to finish this outline by adding circles to all of the pentagons and hexagons. So I, I wasn't really following the geometry exactly, um, so it'd be a little more implied. All these would, will turn into loops that intertwine with each other. Since Myouts doesn't have an eraser tool, you have to plan out uh, anything that's going to go on top or below different objects ahead of time. I started by tracing all these different lines that I made and here's the result. Uh, the intensity is still high so these lines are going to turn out to be much lighter and you can still see the outline. But from here you're going to start uh, making decisions about what you're going to do for shading and those types of things. So here's after I bring, brought the intensity back down to 100%. The lines got much lighter and I had to add a little to the lines so they wouldn't be too light. And I started shading from the outside in, making it dark to light. And what this does is it makes the foreground look a little too light as well. So I shaded the object very dark on the foreground and had it get lighter out towards the edge here. Now I, I thought I maybe shaded a little too dark so I decided from here I'm still going to add a few more things to it to bring your eye uh, back, back towards the center without it getting kind of mushy. What I did was I added just little sort of geometric details in there and uh, tried to, I made them pointing out much more so you, it draws your eye back out towards the design and the loops will bring it back in and just kind of have a nice general look to it. That's all for today, and the next tutorial I'll do will be about um, doing multiple sides within one design.